King James. Okay. So for the King James, um, I don't necessarily subscribe that it's fairy tale. Fairy tale is a very specific type of literary work. Uh, but I do think that it is fictional. And I mean, there's several instances that show that it is fictional, ranging from like starting with uh, Moses. I mean, Moses was a fictional character. Uh, his entire uh, story about how he freed the, the Jews from Egypt is a parable and it's noticeably a parable. What? Who told you that? So notice that he just just lied. He said that it's a parable. The story of Moses leading his people um, into the promised land is a parable. It's all fiction. It's made up. We have historical proof, and I'm about to give you the historical proof right here. So anybody can look this up. According to an Egyptian scribe named Manetho, the founder of monotheism was Osiris, who later adopted the name Moses and led his people out of Egypt. I'm not reading from the Bible right now. This is Egyptian history. That has nothing to do with the Bible. It wasn't a Christian that wrote this. There's a what they call a, a papyrus or papyrus. Um, it's called the admonition of impure. It tells the story of Exodus. These are historical documents that have nothing to do with the Bible. And then we can go to uh, a Roman historian, his name is Josephus. The Roman era historian Josephus identifies a people called the Hyksos. The Hyksos was a group of people that settled in Egypt in like 1650 BC. But let me keep reading. Josephus identifies the Hyksos with the Israelites. He cites the third century Egyptian scribe and priest, Manetho, who wrote, after their expulsion, the Hyksos wandered in the desert before establishing Jerusalem. Now, these are writings that don't have anything to do with the Bible. They wasn't Christian. They wasn't any type of religion. I mean, maybe they was. But these are sources outside of the Bible, historical documents that point towards the story of Exodus. So when people say it's just made up, well, you're saying that the, the biblical uh, story is made up. But what about the historical documents? Are they made up too? Why are people just making up stuff? You can't make this up. You just can't. Look it up for yourself. It's right here. Well, look, let me read something else for you. This is from a, a, a scroll, a scroll dating back to, okay, it's not in here, but it's like between 13 and 1200 BC. This leather scroll is of the time of uh, Ramses II, describes a close account of brick making by enslaved prisoners, which lines up with Exodus 5, 6, and other Egyptian papyruses or papyruses like Anastasi, the third and fourth, discuss using straws in mud bricks as mentioned in Exodus 5, 7. What is sounding so made up about this? History is pointing towards the Bible. This is not biblical history. This is world history that has nothing to do with the Bible. Why is it pointing towards the, the cross? You tell me. Why? Because it's just all made up, right? No, no. 